So to celebrate the 45th anniversary of Jaws, it was released on 4K this week and I picked up the cool steelbook. So let's get into it. Hello friends and welcome back to the Brock Upside, a place for those who live, talk, and buy movies. And if you like you fall into one of those categories, hit that subscribe button down below. But anyway, so as you can see here, I got myself the really cool Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook. Oddly enough, when I tried to get this movie, they only had the Steelbooks in stock. They didn't have the regular one with like the Digibook and stuff, which is actually the one I wanted. But they were like, we only have the Steelbook in stock right now, so... Oh no, I guess I only can get the Steelbook. Whatever shall I do? <laughs> I just want to point out, like, real quick, um, I actually have a Joe's poster in my bathroom. So yeah, I, I see that every morning. I'm going back in. But anyway, picture and sound quality, the movie looks absolutely fantastic in 4K. This is the kind of movie that 4K was meant for because I'm sure you've heard people say this before, myself included, that a lot of older films like this, you know, that were actually shot on 35mm film and things like that, oftentimes look way better in 4K than a lot of newer movies do. You know, they're usually rendered in a 2K file and they put the 2K file onto a 4K disc, so it doesn't look quite as good as it could be. Not always the case, but here it's like the film looks as crisp and clean as it ever has been. You know, if you've seen it like every format from VHS to DVD to Blu-ray to 4K, you could definitely notice a difference. It just looks so clean and crisp and just looks absolutely fantastic with the richer colors and the deeper blacks and all the beautiful pixels. Especially when you're watching scenes like at the beach where the sun is slowly coming up or coming down with a really colorful sunset and stuff. That looks absolutely incredible. Now, the one thing I was a little concerned about when watching this in 4K was, well, how is the shark going to look? Because people have debated for a long time whether or not the shark looks rather fake. And I've always been on the side of, the shark doesn't look all that fake. I think it's actually just a really nice technical marvel for the time. But honestly, I think the shark looks absolutely fine. You know, you can't really avoid the real, you know, obvious hinges on his jaw you know, when he's moving around and stuff, but still, I think the shark looks good, I think the movie looks good, definitely a worthy 4K upgrade. And as far as bonus content goes, it's got pretty much all the featurettes you'd see on previous DVD and Blu-ray releases, so nothing new for the 4K release, which is kind of a bummer, but the bonus content for Jaws is really good, though, if you want to see some really nice in-depth looks into the making of this movie, you know, hearing about all the major, major troubles they had trying to get that mechanical shark to work. I believe even one time the shark sank to the bottom of the river or the ocean or whatever. And getting to hear like how audiences reacted to it the first time, like running out of the theater screaming because they were so horrified of what they were watching. So if you want some good bonus content that you haven't seen before and this is like your first time owning this movie, I think picking up the 4K is definitely the way to go. You get the great picture quality, get a really cool steelbook if you you know you got the steelbook and just some really good bonus content so i definitely recommend you pick this up if you haven't yet and of course like i do the majority of the time i am going to be giving away my digital code for this movie so if you want to potentially win this super awesome code then comment down below okay i just want to make sure people are actually watching to the end of the video here so we're going to make it a little bit different this time um yeah just comment down below what the best way to serve a potato is yeah, I mean, you know, french fries, mashed, baked, vodka. Just comment the best way to serve potato, and then uh, then about 24 hours, I'll pick one of you lucky Brock Up Ciders, and uh, you'll get the code. Anywho. So if you want to see some more videos like this, you can check out this playlist right over here. And if you want to see what YouTube recommends you watch from me next, you can check out that video uh, right down there. And of course, subscribe if you live, talk, and buy movies. And we'll see you on the Black Oops. See ya.